Oh, I missed the uh, town meeting. Oh well. Research results. Civil Furnace. And Panbad Infestation on the Tree Farm. Breath of the Wild built it up really well. What, between Link and Zelda? Because I actually just felt bad for uh, What's-Her-Face. The, uh, the Zora. Oh, right. That's just the mayor. What about the washing machine? Oh, yeah. I need to put the washing machine there. So you wonder, did you look up the scene where the protagonist dated everybody in Persona 5? I did. That was very, very strange and unfortunate. I felt bad. Hey, that's... Okay, this is where we get the, the tires and stuff. I don't feel like moving it anywhere. Mifa, there we go. Yeah, I felt bad for Mifa. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't mind Zelda, but she seemed like she was much more preoccupied with science than ever any kind of, like, romance for Breath of the Wild. But, like, poor Mifa was, like, very clearly in love with Link, and then more or less died for him, and I'm just like, oh, okay, that, uh, that's sad. And then I was kind of hoping the DLC would be about, like, uh, resurrecting them or something like that. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Okay, so we want to start making a DD transport. Small engine, though. Where the hell do we get one of those? Okay, so what do we need for it? Three wheels. Two seats. Cloth glass. I might as well grab some of these. I'm going to need them anyway. What's that? Oh, that's fertilizer. Right. So I do have some rubber fruit, but I'm going to need more. Have some glass. This is sand, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can go get two more rubber, rubber tires pretty easily. This needs... Oh, I need to get a basic skeever. Okay, so let's work on the basic skeever. Marble. Oh. Well, back we go. That's got to be enough. Wonder are you going to try the Nintendo Labo? Probably not. I don't really have the room to play the good games out of it. Which is unfortunate. The uh, the big robot one looked cool, but it also looks like you need the whole room to be able to move around. Also, like, how the hell am I supposed to even record some of that stuff? That's the other problem. Like, I I live in a small one-bedroom apartment. I don't really have space for, for crazy VR setups or anything like that. I might be poor as dirt. I am poor as dirt. Crap. Uh, well, time to start chopping down trees. Okay, small engines are dug up. Good to know. I guess we're going to have to go do some commissions. To make some money. Yeah. Like, I like the idea of the Nintendo Labo, but I think that would have been something I'd be more interested in as a kid. Now that I'm... A Older, it's harder to justify like that kind of setup. Also, like there's no there's no way I'd be able to record any of it. Okay, so what do we have? Four glasses. Doesn't pay well. Talismans. I don't really even know. I know how to do that. Four storages or five copper pipes. Wooden storages are mad easy to get. It's just 80 wood. That's easy. Okay, civil furnace refines everything faster than the stone furnace. Okay, I guess I'll get to work on that. Got a 
Cut me some trees, though. Oh, yeah, there's also the pan bat infestation, which I should probably maybe sort of deal with. I don't know. But, yeah, maybe when I move, I'll look into getting, like, a proper VR setup. But I'm probably not going to move from here for at least another couple of years. Because otherwise it's just... Uh, a problem. Like, I would, I would destroy some stuff if I had to record VR in here. Which sucks, because there's, there's a really cute game coming out called Moss on the PlayStation. And I really want to cover that. But one, I'd need to get a PSVR set on its own, which is, like, expensive. And then, like, also... It's the only VR game I've seen that I'm, like, really interested in. So it's like, mm, not really worth. I don't know. Someday. Someday when VR is, like, established and all the kinks are, like, worked out and all the good games are there, then I'll probably do VR stuff. Instead, I'll just wait and play my many, many non- VR games. There's so many of them. Like, I I'm more or less just kind of panicking trying to get everything out of the way before uh, Monster Hunter World comes out and consumes my life. Uh, luckily, I I don't have any other YouTubers to play with, uh, which, I mean, a, a couple of people have offered, but they were very small YouTubers that... Oops, hold on. Uh, there were very small YouTubers that I've never worked with before, and, like, the idea of starting a very long series like Monster Hunter World with, uh, people I've never recorded with before is, uh, it's scary. Let's see, Wonder What Day. Ah, uh, it's... Jeez, whenever it comes out. I think it comes out on Friday. But, you know, everybody else is busy. Uh, we were kind of considering Keith... Uh, Keith's friend Andrew and myself, but uh, to quote Andrew, I have no interest in uh, Monster Hunter, so that kind of fell through. And then Keith's busy, so I'm I'm just gonna play Monster Hunter solo with just you know fans helping out instead, which honestly might actually be the better setup anyway. Let's see, do they have an official launch date for the PC version? Uh, late summer, I believe. Are we never, no longer doing four nerds? It kind of fell apart. Probably mostly my fault. Uh, four nerds save the universe podcast was cool, but um, I mean, ultimately the main problem was it didn't do well on my channel, and it definitely didn't do well on any of my streams. So eventually, I just had to cut it out because I I couldn't. I couldn't justify it anymore. Okay. Hey, umbrellas are important. Doesn't have a time limit. That's good. We do have to make a present for the celebration, though. And I don't know what I want to do. I mean, an iron sword might not be too bad. Oh, I need to start picking up... Things. Yeah, we do have to make the, uh... Oh, the flooring connects generators with machines that need energy. That's interesting. I'm gonna make a xylophone. Let's see, so we do four nerds off stream, or is it done? It's mostly uh, done for now. I don't I don't know when we'll be back to it. It's the hard reality of YouTube. If things don't perform well, you kind of slowly have to phase them out. Because uh, otherwise it just kills your channel. Plus, honestly, to some degree, I'd actually just rather play games with my friends. Because we can still talk while we play the games. Uh, but then people seem a lot more interested in watching. 
So you buy. Okay, so buying land is actually a different thing. Okay, good to know. Okay, so we're doing Commerce Commission over here. And then I should probably go check out the tree farm. Nope, I'm out of energy. I guess we'll do it then tomorrow. Reality of YouTube. Call the weak series Feed the Strong. Yeah, kinda. Okay, uh, let's see. So Lucy, who we've never met before, have some wooden storages. Give me your money. Give me your money. I'm still very poor. I need to get more. Yeah, we should work on that civil furnace. Get the, uh, get the better tools. I mean, getting the better tools will probably make a... Will make a difference. I mean, someday it might come back. I might... <sighs> figure something out. I don't know. The other problem with the podcast was it was like a three-hour uh, three investment for one video. Uh, which already is like really scary. Let's see, so we still need marble planks, which I don't know how to get. And then just two bronze pipe, which really isn't that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, food is the energy bypass. Yeah, I should probably look into that. For But for now, I'm going to just rest. Okay. Might switch games soon. Unfortunately, my, my ability to come up with like unique commentary drops off pretty fast when I'm tired, and I am bush. Okay, so let's make a xylophone, and then let's give it to the, uh... Let's give it to the mayor. I think... I think that's a fine enough gift. So you can buy milk and eggs from... From the farm across. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Lazy busy. Busy lazy. Uh, let's see. We need glass. I guess we might as well craft all of the, all of the glass. We need wood. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I want to start working on these, but we've got to get the civil furnace going. Oh, yeah, put down the washing machine. I keep forgetting that I even have that. Why are you backwards? Okay. There are too many furniture placed. What? What do you mean there's too many, too much furniture placed? My entire house is empty. I give up. Okay, let's go, let's go fight us some pan bats and then some urchins. Let's get, let's get those quests out of the way or something. Because I assume doing these, uh, suggested quests will probably get us more. Let's see. Speaking of food wander, I heard that S. fijas are a type of food are great over in South America. Because it's Arabic cooking. It's nowhere to be found in the U.S. Have I ever heard of it? Nope. Never heard of it. Sounds delicious. I'm actually pretty hungry. Uh, I had a big burrito for dinner. I have not eaten since... So glad you came. We're at our wit's end here. Don't know why, but the pan bats have been coming out of our swamp into our tree farm since last month. Now they're flying all over the farm, preventing anyone from getting near. We've tried everything already. Fire, water, cotton candy, you name it. They just won't go away. The civil court came the other day, and they're cl as clueless as us. They've been sucking nutrients and poisoning our trees. Look at them. The leaves are turning brown. You gotta do something. We actually talked with Higgins as well, but he's scared of the pan bats, so we can only turn to you now. Can you help us? Sure. Oh, thank you, but how do you plan on solving this? Talk to the research center first. What? No. First, we murder the pan bat. This one, at least. I wonder how much EXP a level 20 pan bat is worth. It's not like the combat's very hard. I have no idea how much EXP is worth. Okay, and I don't know what that is. Well... Leave that alone. Okay, go talk to the research center. Might as well turn the thing into the mayor, too. 
Yeah. One of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling is food tourism. Which is bad, because, you know, I should be losing weight. But when we were in Croatia, uh, I would go to pretty much any new and interesting sounding restaurant I could find. I was... I was very... not particular about trying everything, but, like, I wanted to try everything. I kind of miss that. Because, unfortunately... Not the greatest stuff around here. Thanks for coming. I've been really busy trying to figure out who the town thief is. Town thief? Yeah, haven't you heard? Someone's been stealing our folk from our folks for the last couple of weeks. Arlo's been heading in, uh, heading the investigation, but it's strange. He's not stealing anything essential, just random trinkets. Anyway, enough about the thief. I asked you to come here because I want to further develop the cave on Amber Island. That cave used to lead to a rune, but due to an accident, the entrance was closed. This is some 40 years ago. Since then, there's been various rumors of it being haunted, which is nonsense. But I think it's time we used it in our favor, the Haunted Cave of Portia. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? There used to be a power generator in there somewhere. I'm commissioning you to fix it up and give it some juice. Arlo tells me we'll need to install a removable battery, so go do that. Then I'll get one of the Hulu brothers to get that place running. Ah, this will be a fine tourist attraction. Huh. Okay. And also gift. Xylophone! A lot of people will want this. We'll see who's the lucky one. Should have given him maybe a sword. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm sure the celebrations of the Day of the Bright Sun are a bit different in Barnarok. Here, the airship tradition has been going on for almost 40 years. I think it started when someone jumped on the peach statue and started throwing cranberry candy at everyone. <laughs> the mayor is wearing a coat made from your people's skin. Oh my god. He's got a picture of himself when he was thinner. Way thinner. <laughs> He's got multiple pictures of himself, kind of all over the place. Huh. I really actually kind of like the world they're working with from here. Okay, so now that we've done that... Where do we go? What do we do? Oh, right. Research. And then I think I'll go mining. I gotta figure out where to get some marble from. It'd be nice if I could get it from a, a material place, but oh well. Okay. Ugh. Can you help us with the pan bats now? Something to stop pa a pan bat infestation. Mm. I'm not sure. Director, do you know anything that might stop a pan bat? Of course, my dear. Pan bats are... Is that a woman or a man? I don't know. Pan bats are very sensitive to sound. If you make some sort of sound amplifier, you'll be able to scare those poor things away in no time. All right, so a boombox. Let's see if I can crank out... Uh, let's see. I can think of two designs. A very straightforward design, but the sound might be kind of no noisy, but easy to make. Or more complicated design, they'll be able to play music. Let's see, I don't know what the effect on the pan bats will be. It's up to you. Complicated. I want both! You're the type that wants everything, huh? For that, I think we'll need eight data disks. Sure, why not? We'll try that. Let's go mining. And then I might just start wholesaling junk that I make. I have some meat in my inventory. Yum. Yeah, 250 stamina is probably enough. Kind of wish I had that jetpack all the time so I could just fly. It would be kind of broken. But yeah, let's just go dig up some, uh... Some data disks. I can climb this, yes? I can! Okay, for a second I didn't think that was possible. Uh, I'm gonna have to get me some more money. Unfortunately, this is one of those games where uh, money is kind of obnoxious to come by. Stardew Valley, money just literally grew on trees and everywhere else. I kind of appreciated that. It'd be nice if uh, I could start farming for crops, but I don't think I have the capacity to do that yet.
Oh. Nope. This is where I was. Okay, let's see what we got around here. Let's see, when do we switch to Digimon? Very soon. Because I'm, I'm actually getting really tired. We'll just finish this mining trip, I think. I want to know where I get marble from. I was hoping I'd get marble from here, but... No such luck. Um... Pretty deep. I guess we'll just go straight down. But yeah, it would be... It would be nice if this game had some crop farming that I could do, too. I... It kind of does. But it's not, like, the main focus. And, like, I almost kind of wish instead of being a carpenter... That's carbon fiber. Huh. It, I kind of wish instead of being a carpenter... Why is this weirdly inverted when we're in first person? Um, I kind of wish we weren't just a, a carpenter. Oh, why is this blue? Manganese. Well, it's not what I'm looking for. Marble is obtained from quarrying rock. Let's see. What is... That's just... Oh, it's another washing machine. Neat. I guess I could probably try uh, selling some of that stuff. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, do we have it? No, I'm still fair distance away. I do not have space in my inventory. That's a problem. Oh, let's see. What can I get rid of? I don't need resin. Should have cleared my inventory out, though. I think there's another one somewhere, like... Somewhere, like, yeah, it's right here. Let's see, what's this? Still not enough space in my inventory. Uh, let's see, what do I get rid of? Kind of needed the rubber fruits at this point. We actually probably don't need hardwood, or we d we definitely don't need tra tree sap yet. A spring. Certainly didn't look like a spring. Okay, there it is. Is that just a washing machine embedded in, this, in the stone? There's something weird about this place. It's the post-apocalypse. Oh, is that... That's marble. Isn't it? Yeah, that's marble I'm looking at. Alright, let's cancel. Let's get rid of the plant fiber. Nope, that's iron ore. Okay, never mind. So you have a washing machine in your inventory. I might be able to sell a washing machine for like a lot of money. I'm assuming some of the stuff that, that I dig up here is actually like worth cash. Okay, that's just more stone. Let me see. Should be able to just get over there. It's gonna be very cranky at me for how full my inventory is, though. Yell at me if you see marble from this. Okay. Not really a whole lot of point for that. I wonder if the resources respawn. Let's see. You need more inventory space here. As bad of a hoarder as a Skyrim player. Bleh, player. I'm a terrible Skyrim player when it comes to, like, inventory economy. I usually just carry everything with me because I'm really lazy. I, I don't like having to, like, pull stuff out of bags and boxes and stuff. Uh, the only time I like bags and boxes and whatnot 
is if you can hook it up to to whatever you're like crafting from or whatever you need it from at which point i'm fine with storing everything like space engineers got it so right it's shocking that nobody else does that like i'm trying to think of a, a good example i don't have many oh what's this town hall oh mayor has a commission for me i think that's actually what he was talking to me about and i just missed Okay, so glass is still going. Um, what do I do with half this stuff? What are you worth? The washing machine's kind of worth an amount. Okay, so I can't make this thing. Let's retrieve. We didn't make anything for the basic skeever. What about the civil furnace? Also requires marble. Okay. We need some bronze plates, too. We need a lot of things. Oof. Let's see. There's a game called Planet Nomads, where you can collect all your... Uh, connect all your constructors and storage together. Yeah! Uh, I have a key for that. I... I wanted to cover it when it came out, but it came out at, like, the absolute worst time, so I never bothered. I should probably give it a shot at some point. I've got, like, five keys. I bet I could give one to Durf and Bird, and we could have a good time. That'd be fun.